Oh my god. Don't you just look absolutely fine today? Good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses, and welcome to the Click. I do hope that you enjoy your stay. Because today we're going to do something absolutely amazing that we all can relate to. This is basically a subreddit about my community. Without being about my community specifically, but look at r slash weird. Oh my god, because normal is just a synonym for boring. Welcome to all the wacky, weird things that we can find in this great, wide world of ours. Enjoy. Mwah. And remember to subscribe to the channel, because we're almost at 10 million subscribers. I think that if we keep growing at this pace, we'll hit it in 2049. So, we're almost there. <laughs> Yabuya. How do I stop my husband from going goblin mode during the naughties? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? My husband says, Goblin mode activated. When we start doing the naughties, growls and acts like a caveman, and then says, Goblin mode off. When we stop, and then pretends to not know what I'm talking about when I ask him about it. <laughs> Words of encouragement? Oh my god, this is amazing. This is such a good start to the video, man. Oh. Hi, relationship advisor, click here. If you don't appreciate goblin mode, then you're probably... Broken. M moving on. Found in Brazil, Argentina, Paraguay, and Bolivia. The fruit of the Jabadu... J Jabutica Baba tree grows directly on the trunk and branches and tastes like blueberry yogurt. What on earth? Why does it grow directly on the... That looks in... It looks like it's infested with bugs. Are you sure these aren't like spider eggs? That just happen to taste really sweet? That would be such a twist to imagine. That would be something designed by Satan. <laughs> These spider eggs look like berries and they taste like berries. <laughs> Foolish mortals. All right, what do we have here? Those are ants circling... What is that? Like the remnants of a cupcake. This makes me believe that ants and sharks are closer related than we think. Ants evolved from sharks? Change my mind, atheists. You can't. So here's a motorcycle with a very ominous shadow. This feels like a warning. If I saw this, you know, um, I, I would be really freaked out. Identical twin brothers Josh and Jeremy married identical twin sisters Brittany and Brianna. Both couples gave birth to baby boys at the same time. Although technically cousins, the boys are genetically brothers. It gets more weird. Both families live together in the same house. <laughs> Oh my god, I just imagine the amount of pranks that are gonna be played in the future. Imagine it's like, oh, oh bro, my, my wife wants me to go on this really boring date night. C can you do this for me? You know, I'll owe you a favor. Like, yeah, sure, bro, I don't mind watching this this bad rom-com movie. And you, you just replace dates and stuff and nobody can ever tell. Ah, oh, the possibilities for uh, satanic worship in this household is beautiful. Ding dong, bish, I'm the mailman. Christmas comes early this year. Christmas this time of year. Oh my god, I am so lucky. Uh -huh. oh. oh, what is this? Oh my poo. Oh, it's a custom the click box. JK, JK, it's a YouTube. It goes on sale, limited edition, on the 21st on 3 p.m. PST. Oh my god, look at that. Look at this. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Designed by myself and and mine. Absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, limited edition figurine. Who wouldn't want a little me staring at him in their sleep? Mm? Click the link below this video to enter the giveaway on your chance of your own. Little clicky thicky wiki on Mungi Wungi. Mwah. God, man, my, my product placements are, are the worst. Jesus Christ. <laughs> there is a door in the ceiling of our school. No one knows where it goes, including teachers and janitors. No one has ever used it. It mysteriously opened a few days ago, and no one knows why. You can't see anything in it. It's just darkness. No one has an explanation. Our school is 98 years old. Look at that. Oh my god. It's obviously like the little the little ceiling classroom for for the little gremlins. This is where <laughs> this is where the people who go goblin mode during intimacy <laughs> go to school. <laughs> They're just hidden <laughs> in the attic. <laughs> It's just all coming together. They try to silence me something found by my dad at the prison he works at, made by a schizophrenic inmate. That looks so cool. 
United States Government Department of Justice, the gates have opened, my time has come, your cities will burn. Thoughts, forms, okay. Five, Zion, polyhedra, interlocking dimensions and musical resonance. For your intellect, I have simplified this as far as possible. It requires someone stupider than I am to communicate to you. And though your own incredulity, a laughter and you are for the present moment powerless against me. Revelations 21, 17. This is basically if a dark magic book was written by like a Facebook mom group. This is basically what that is. It's nuts. This looks so cool though. Like this looks like the proper design out of some kind of, you know, fantasy thing. You know, in, in a Doctor Strange movie, this is basically what I would expect the first page to look like. It's so cool and so eerie. How do you even decipher this? I mean, our brains are too simple, obviously. This was a kid's TV show. Ah, Courage the Cowardly Dog. That mofo on the left there, the top left, I had forgotten about that. How was this presented to kids? This is like bringing back some old, oh my God, no. That eerie feeling of the empty field in fog. You can barely see anything. And then you have this character, this really spooky, ominous character just standing there watching you getting slowly closer and closer. Like it gives this feeling of isolation and helplessness because everything else is just empty. There's nowhere to hide. They always know where you are. Oh my god. I'm not sure if I can get away with it, but I kinda wanna do like a stream watch through of these kind of things. That would be so much fun. Oh my god. Nostalgia and horror all in one? Hell yeah. So if you're sitting in a wheelchair, simply get up and walk. What does this sign mean? Is this supposed to be advertisement for a miracle cure? Like, oh my god, they are carrot smoothie with ginger at home today and da da ba ba ba. I don't know what this means. It's so weird. What on earth is this? <laughs> well, laddies, lasses, and lassos, we're in luck. I think we found footage of the first historical furry convention. Heck yeah. A face app morph of all 50 Democratic senators and the same one for the Republican senators. That looks about right. It's just nightmare fuel, isn't it? Ah, politics in a nutshell. Oh, yes, indeed. They should just use this for the face of politics. Like, who do you want to vote for? Wrinkly, creepy dude or wrinkly, creepy dude? <laughs> <laughs> the choice is yours. Long live democracy. So you know when you're driving a car, but your car has like an al 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 allegedly to bees, and you hit a bee, and it looks like this. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Have to give your car an epipen. <laughs> so here's a McDonald's with a workout bike. Wait, so th so the point is that you burn the calories you get from your Big Mac, basically. This is so wild, what? I mean, I guess it could be good, because if someone has restless legs or whatever, and you have these little trampy things you can have under your desk and things. But while you're eating McDonald's, this gives me such a weird vibe, what? Here comes the leaves of the little plumbish clump and bum. This gives me such a vibe from, have you seen the movie Annihilation? I think that's what it's called, like a semi-horror flick of like alien stuff comes to Earth and like DNA starts to merge, so you have like plants that go grow in the shape of humans and stuff. Really freaky. Um, very strange finale to the movie, but pretty pretty good scenes a little here and there. This gives me vibes of that horror movie. This person permanently blinded herself with chemicals because she identified as transabled and had wanted to be blind since childhood. Oh my god. No one mentions that a psychologist blinded her per her request. His medical license was suspended in several states. I vaguely remember this story. It was super trending and was very, very controversial. Like, how long ago was this? Two, three years ago, maybe? Something like that. It's so wild. So here's like a little video someone took of a, of a house they were visiting and they found in the garage these dolls lined up everywhere. The entire garage is just a big, scenic place full of dolls. Look at that. The wholesome vibes. This is that moment when, you know, the power goes out or something and you start hearing rustling around you. And it turns out the dolls, they sit still as long as you can see them. But as soon as the light go out or you turn away, they slowly start to move. Everything moves when you're not looking. This is basically the plot of, uh, wh what are they called? Weeping angels in Doctor Who. Like, they're, they're statues, but as soon as you look away, they can move. So as soon as you blink, they like come, you know, half a meter closer every time you blink. Oh my god, that kind of horror, but with dolls. It's like a Toy Story, basically. It's the same principle as Toy Story, you know? They can move and stuff when nobody's watching. Same thing, but just horrible. Horror Toy Story. 
I want to direct that. It would be horrible. A page from Codex Serafininianus by Luigi Serafini, 1981, describing the post-coital metamorphosis. All right, so we have a couple of people enjoying the naughties, and they slowly blend into a crocodile, and it just goes uh, it goes away. Is this supposed to be something like if you <laughs> if you sin, you just gets merged into a little gator? <laughs> I can't read this, but but I'm ass I'm gonna assume that's what it is. Mommy, how are crocodiles made? Well, you see how they went. Mommy and Daddy loves each other very much. They they metamorphose into a merging <laughs> alligator. <laughs> oh, Florida! This is not a mannequin sitting next to me on this flight. She is asleep and snoring. <sighs> this is some uncanny valley stuff. That is so wild. Oh my god. So here's a little owl. You wanna look wanna know what a cute owl looks like without feathers? Here you go. Oh my god, still cute. Still nightmare material. My mom won't buy me airsoft because I'm a girl. Angie face. When I was four, my mom took me on the wave runner and ran over two men and didn't tell anyone. That is a very graphic picture. It's like arms and heads just flying. Exposing my mom.com. <laughs> Maybe, if you're in league with your daughter to cover up, like, some, some manslaughter stuff, don't deny them toys. <laughs> you want to keep them on your side, lady. I wonder if this is real. Can someone in the comments confirm if this is actually real or if it's, like, a crappy prank? NASA's master cam captures what looks to be a doorway on Mars. And if you zoom in on the right, that looks very much like a doorway. I did find the original picture of this. It's like one of those super images that are like 10,000 pixels across. And you can zoom all the way in. It's like a very small part of a larger picture. It's kind of freaky. I love stuff like this. The same thing with like the face on Mars. Very similar thing. Most of the time it can just be explained like, you know, the angle makes something look weird and stuff. The odds of this actually leading in as a properly cut doorway is pretty low. But still, from this angle, it looks amazing. Oh my god. This gives me some like sci-fi vibes, you know. Humans actually came from Mars to begin with and we got flung to earth with catapults oh hey honey i'm so glad you could come over for the dinner date let's see what we have to cook for this delicious evening mm, eggs i do hope you enjoy eggs daily reminder that turtles are not inside their shells they are their shells i mean i kind of knew that already that's pretty standard knowledge but you know all the cartoons and stuff gives you a very different idea i remember as a kid watching cartoons you always assumed that turtles were like kind of like snails or I don't know, the, the, those crabs, hermit crabs, they just pick their shells, you know? <laughs> Looking back at it, it's a ridiculous notion. Police Department. Dear public and fellow law enforcement agencies, we want to inform you of a public safety and law enforcement matter that came to our attention today. The possessor of this firearm was a felon prohibited from possessing firearms and was previously convicted for possessing firearms. How many times can you squeeze him possess into one sentence? Uh, he possessed meth and was previously convicted for distributing possessions. No, I'm kidding. But that's what the gun looks like. This is what I imagine a gun from Fallout. You know, the pipe pistols? Yeah, this is what I imagine a pipe pistol would look like IRL. It looks really freaky. The fact that someone was able to build this is very impressive in of itself. That's like the trigger mechanic and everything. Randy Gardner, the 17-year-old who broke the world record for the longest time awake. Gardner stayed awake for over 11 days. By the end, he was not able to perform basic tasks without forgetting what he was doing. I suppose the short-term memory would just be shot to sh Um... <laughs> That is so freaky. I can barely stay awake for 24 hours in a row. Imagine this. How much caffeine did you have to drink to do this? <laughs> or cocaine? Uh, just ordered DoorDash for the first time. I'm nervous. I, I don't think it's coming. Hey, this is DoorDash. I have been arrested. Can you contact support and let them know about the situations? So they can assign you another dasher. <laughs> did the cops also snag the food? <laughs> God damn. This is what the original Yoda puppet from Star Wars looks like today. <laughs> this is the kind of horror stuff, you know, you're walking around an old museum and all the dolls come to life. There we go, it's like an, another Toy Story twist horror film. Yuck. Hose car. The car was on our street and has not moved in over a month. Window on the hood. There is a white man inside there. There is an Asian American inside there. I can't open the hood. Who are the men? Always the same two gentlemen. They will look at me, but they won't respond. They don't want out. What's going on with the car? It's not the kind of thing we want here. What on earth i'm just getting the vibe is this some rental thing or maybe it's an art piece is it an art piece maybe it must be steaming hot in there the sun is shining 
Just goddamn. A blue bottle maggot under an electron microscope. Blah. Why does it look so scary? What's wrong with its eyes? This is what you look like after a really bad skin day. You know, spent a bit too much time in the sun and your skin dries up. And this is what you look like when you wake up in the morning. Blah. Look at that little maggot. Such a little boy. That would also be a good horror movie, you know? All the, like, microscopic little things just suddenly become real life size. And you have amoebas going around just absorbing people. That'd be kind of interesting. Sounds like a movie that would be really bad in practice. The big one is coming in October. First comes to Japan, tsunami in December, then comes to California, mega earthquake in October, backed by many god given confirmation at 911quake.com. The September tsunami is your sure sign to evacuate before the mega quake in October. See the numerous god given signs and testimonies at 911quake.com. That sounds like a video game website. <laughs> Foretelling when the big one is coming, October 2022 has to California make a quake. Sever state was collapsed as San Andreas downloaded a free quake alert app. F quake, quake for free. I remember we had quake on my old school computers. That was amazing. Keep your eyes on Japan, blah, blah, blah. Investigate life is in danger. Keep this reminder, go mobile. Okay, so this is the kind of stuff they go around and just place on people's bikes. This is like those people with doom signs. But they place it on bikes and cars. This is the weirdest flyer I've seen in a while. Real French! Look at that borb, Pack is your borb! I wanna do- this isn't weird, okay? This is not weird, I'm defending this. If I- when I get a duck, if I get a duck, I'm gonna do this. I'm ironically gonna go to the store with my duck backpack, so I can take the duck on adventures with my duck. And I am big, I'm going to be a soldier paintball shooter. I'll work in a big field by my house. I'll get rid of all the animals in the field so they don't bother me like skunks. My mom doesn't like snakes. I'll get rid of those too. She can visit me in the field. I'll need a paintball, a sickle, a pillow, a sleeping bag, nails and tape. I won't need any cooking things because I'll eat everything raw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, raw skunk meat. <laughs> I live in a plastic house. I'll use a lot of those weenie hot dog containers to tape together to make my plastic house. I'll have four backpacks of food and money. I'll live by myself. No wife. Dude, who even was I when I was a kid? You know, at this age, most people are like, I want to be a fireman or something like that. I want to be an astronaut. But no, no, no. I want to live in a house built from what? Sausage containers out in the backyard eating raw skunks? It's such a very specific dream, man. A new dog poop disposal system that fills up dog poop bags with helium to float them away forever. Float a poo. Dog waste disposal system. Fill it. Collect your dog's waste. Float it once the bag is filled. Seal it with a tie and release. Avoid power lines, windmills, falcons, and airport. <laughs> falcons? You think birds are gonna hunt your poo balloons? Forget it. Get back to your life. Float a poo bags. Simply carry your dog's waste two to three counties away. But where does it Oh my god, can you imagine that? It just gets like deflated in the air and you suddenly have just rains of poop bags. This doesn't make it magically go away. I mean, statistically speaking, if everyone used this, you would be bothered by as much poo still. It would just spread it out. <laughs> this is such a weird thing. Wake up, babe. New Jesus just dropped. Italian shark has virgin birth after 10 years in all-female shark tank. The baby shark was born in an all-female tank with no father in sight. <laughs> They riseth from the depth. Shock Jesus is upon us. Sumo wrestlers in a sunflower field. Oh, that has a kind of interesting vibe to it. This is sort of the photo shoot I would expect for those fireman calendars, you know, when you have buff firemen with like puppies and stuff, but instead it's sumo wrestlers in a sunflower field. <laughs> I kind of want this calendar, not gonna lie. So we put my dog in the bathroom and acted like we left the house and this is what we saw. Oh, oh my god! My, oh my what? God. Is it oh my god. Oh my god. Is it like just standing up? It's using the bathroom like a human. All animals are in a conspiracy, I'm convinced. And it just closes the door when it realizes you watch it. What the f this freaks me out. Oh my god. Um, wow. What is this creature? What the frick? Leave it down in the comments and see if you can guess which kind of creature this is. And in three, two, one, here comes the answer. This bizarre creature was discovered in Arizona. After a closer inspection, it was revealed to be a three-year-old tadpole that never developed into a frog because of a genetic hormonal imbalance. So it's a frog baby that just kept growing in its current state and never actually, you know, developed the usual body parts that they do. That is so wild. It's the size of a banana. Mm, you can just eat it like a banana too. Isn't that just scrumptious? Had a flashback to this OG creep. Who remembers him? A salad finger. Oh, that's such a throwback. I remember finding this with a friend of mine when I was like 16 or something. And we were so freaked out and we were just binge watching it because we couldn't stop. It was wild. My name is Salad Fingers. I like rusty spoons. Mm -hmm. 
I like the way the textures rub flesh on my bare skin. The cartoons are truly disturbing. It's fascinating, but really disturbing. Red light! Please call 911 when red light is on. Uh huh. A Japanese engineer creates creepy spider nightlight that walks around your house at night. Why would you do this? <laughs> Like, why? What's the purpose? It seems, like, relatively difficult to build this, you know, it's kind of advanced. But why? Just to suffer? God! Anyone knows what this is? My sister found this underneath the wallpaper in her daughter's nursery. Kind of spooked. So that looks like a medical symbol in the middle. And then it has, like, skeletal wings. Uh, dark magic witchcraft meant for healing in the name of Satan, I think. This is... <laughs> That's basically what it is. <laughs> The million dollar homepage. This looks like r slash place. A million pixels, one dollar per pixel, own a place on the internet history. Oh, so this is basically like a like an r slash place, but instead of timers and communities, it's just you pay to have something here. There's so many ads. There are just so many ads. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah, they're like casino ads and everything. Why? Oh my god, this is just like r slash place, but complete sellout. So you want to have your bald eagle? There you go, it's a puppy bald eagle. Why what, don't you love this? Hmm, love it. Finding the stock photo in the team's list of purchases. Uh, 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 there you go. This is a typical business expense. I wonder what it was used for. Or maybe it was just a fired employee that was playing like one last prank on the company. So here's a nice little picture. Let's see, it's a UFO here raining blood. We have a little satanic tree there sending rays and an angel shouting rays at it that bounces up. Is that Braille? On the top, it almost looks like Braille. This is such a weird picture. Where did you find this? This looks so freaky. It looks old as well. It looks really old. And there's like a random small swastika on the sail ship there. There's so many weird details. What is this? Some art I made called Fractal Cthulhu from thousands of detailed interwoven fractals. Large, zoomable image. That looks so badass. It's that kind of image where you zoom in far enough, you can't really tell what it is. But when you zoom out, it just looks absolutely amazing. That is so cool. Dog walkers. To her, it looks like chocolate, but one lick and she could lose her sight. Fact, dog mess can cause blindness. So what if this was your daughter? Please bag and bend your dog mess. Thank you. Is this like the lead up advertisement to the float away poo? <laughs> but also, what child just sits in their yard and just like smud, sm sm smudges down dog poo? It's like, mm, this tastes just like chocolate. You used to think, don't litter with dogs is pretty gross, but like, is this just Darwinism? Honestly, if, if if you can't tell the difference between poo and chocolate, come on. My service. Within 20 minutes of me sitting on your chair, it will become completely soaked. It's not sweat, but it's not exactly just water either. After two weeks, the maggots will begin. Eat them. You will be cured. Cured from what? New York Post. Astrophysicist believes alien tech may have crashed into the Pacific Ocean. That's, that just looks like a movie scene. I've seen titles of this so many times. Like, you know, oh, alien aircraft. But then it's, you know, technically not alien as people assume. Or UFO, for example, that just means unidentified flying object. Can be anything from like a plastic bag to a, like a military aircraft. So, probably just clickbait, but yeah, there we go. So here's a little boar parrot doing the licking. Why does the tongue do that? Why did evolution allow this to exist? The face of a tapeworm under electron microscope. Blech. This is such a good design for a Halloween mask. Oh my god, that is such good inspiration. The human anus can the human anus can stretch up to seven inches before taking damage. A raccoon can squeeze into holes as tight as four inches, meaning you can take almost two full raccoons up your butt. Mm. That was thank you, Google, for answering the questions everyone is asking. How how nice. Darn, thank you so much for the gold. <laughs> I can't wait to see you. What? <laughs> Hold on. What? <laughs> so you know when you have water damages inside houses? This is what happens if you have water damage in a, a nice little basketball field. It just like squeezes and stretches the floor in different places. So every, every, everything just becomes wavy. Why not just have the simulation of a water field when I mean, you can do it with wood? Mwah. Here are some nice clouds for you. Mm, they look very nice. I wonder what actually made this happen. It looks so weird. Does someone in the comments know someone who is a cloudist? <laughs> do you know? World's most identical twins are trying to get prego from the same man. This is very similar to that other article with the, with the twins marrying each other and having identical children, basically. 
That is so wild. Poo map! About this app, Poo map is a small app that helps you log all the places you pooped. So instead of having one of those maps where you can see where all your pictures are taken, you have an app that shows every place you pooed in. I, I, I get the feeling this is something that dogs would enjoy, but with pee, it's like, here is where you marked your territory, but it's even more gross. <laughs> Fashion statement. Those heels, though. Oh my god, where you basically have one of those, you know, what is it even called that you put on the table that flaps down? You basically have curtains around your shoes. That's how big your heels are. That is amazing. I found this in my grandfather's closet. It's literally a manual for black magic. <laughs> it's so cool. I love stuff like this. You know, if I ever become a collector, if I become suspiciously rich one day and I just have more money than I know what to do with, this would be one of the things I would do. I would just start collecting like these weird stuff. You know, like, oh, here's an ancient black magic book. And just, oh, it would be so cool. I would love that. I would need, like, a separate garage for just my black magic collection. But, yes. Jonathan is the oldest known living terrestrial animal in the world. He came to life in 1832 and is currently 190 years old. He has lived through World War I, World War II, the Russian Revolution, seven monarchs and British thrones, and 39 U.S. presidents. Look at this. Here's a picture in 1886, and here he is in 2019. Not a single human who was alive during that picture. And during that picture, he was already quite old. Like, he was already in his 50s when that picture was taken. Nobody is alive from that time. That is so wild. I'm not even sure if there are any pictures old enough to date back to when he was actually born. That is kind of unreal. He was born before pictures were even a thing. What year is the first picture from? 1826. Okay, so he was born like a few years after the very, very first picture was taken. That's so, He's basically as old as photography itself. The most detailed image of a human cell ever taken. Look at that, and mm, that is so complex. And that's one singular cell in your body. One single tiny speck is this complex. Life is fascinating, man. It really is. Sharks photographed upside down. Blah. Life is indeed <laughs> fascinating. <laughs> So here's a nice little kid show with a little dragon, and look, he has another dragon head in a very questionable position. Gotta love kid shows. I don't know about you, but this cabbage field makes me want to buy a flamethrower. <laughs> Did you actually get the inspiration for the alien movies F from a cabbage field? <laughs> Did you know that alien eggs are vegan? <laughs> Woo! The cargo ship Octavius vanished off the coast of Greenland in 1761. Fifteen years later, it was discovered with its captain and crew frozen in their final agonizing moments of horror. What? A quick Wikipedia search says they become stuck in an ice flow north of Alaska and froze to death. The captain was supposedly at his desk, but the others weren't frozen mid-action or something. Sounds like many of them were huddled together. Oh, that makes more sense, yeah, because it makes it sound like they were just snap froze. You know, like in the Day After Tomorrow movie, when it becomes like 200 degrees minus and people are just like, hippity hippity yay, frozen in place. It sounds like that. But then it's not as dramatic, perhaps, but yeah. Many were huddled together, but others were right in the middle of a rendition of YMC. <laughs> that would be even scarier if you discover a ship like this and half the crew is frozen in a YMCA dance before YMCA was a thing. Time travel aliens. This French autonomy book tries to illustrate how a horse's bones are similar to ours. C come on, this went through review. How, how did nobody see this? Google Maps! Look at that giant spider alien creatures. Mm, yes, indeed. Guilia Tofana. Guilia Tofana was an Italian professional poisoner. She was famous for selling poisons to women who wanted to murder their abusive husbands. She was the inventor of the famous poison Aqua Tofana, which is named after her. That is such a wild profession. Oh my god, I don't feel like poisoner is such a widespread profession nowadays either. Or maybe it is, maybe I just don't know. That's a freaky thought. So here we have a little bit of notes. You can't hide, John, I am everywhere. Oh, Gorefield. <laughs> that is so quirky. Michael Rockefeller went missing in Papua New Guinea back in 1961. Eight years later, a picture of an unknown white tri-member was taken in Papua New Guinea. Some believe this is him. That is wild. He really did just a 180. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> Little piglets! In 2017, after firefighters saved piglets from a barn fire, the farmers sent them sausages made from the piglets as a thank you gift six months later. May maybe this isn't really like the wholesome gift you expect after you've like saved baby animals. Um, you know that cute thing you saved six months ago? 
Here it's, it's here's the flesh of it. As you know, when, when it's annoying that urinal splash a bit too much when you go to the gentleman's room, here we go, we have the solution for you. Now you just stick your pee pee in this unknown dark room, and, and there you go, don't touch the edges. In 1969, a musician named Jim Sullivan recorded an album titled UFO. The lyrics were about him leaving his family and being abducted by aliens in the desert. Six years later, his car was found abandoned on a ranch somewhere in New Mexico desert. He disappeared. Never to be seen again. Ooh, I love creepy stories like this. They're so good, man. Oh my god. My 36 female husband, 41 male, has some disturbing requests for after he's passed away. This one is really bizarre, and I'm sorry you had a time. My husband of 12 years. <laughs> I read it as my husband is 12 years. That was... <laughs> That would have been a different uh, twist on this post for sure. Anyway, my husband of 12 years had some medical problems recently. The topic about end-of-life plans came up and asked if he wanted to be buried. He didn't want that. Nor did he want to be cremated. My husband wants me to have his skull taken from his body and cleaned. Then he wants that skull put on the mantelpiece in the living room. The rest of his body he wants to be sent to one of those places that make the gems out of bodies and made into two blue diamonds. Oh, so you like compress the carbon from the body, I guess, into, into crystallized form? Okay. He then wants those gems to be put in the eye sockets of the skull to look like eyes. Then he can watch the family home and be passed down through generations. This is, you know, when you keep an urn and the ashes from from a passed away family member, you know, on the on the uh, on, on the mantelpiece. This is that, but but like squared ten times. Can we please stop romanticizing putting your firstborn in the strange dark river? We don't even know why we do it. There is no proof that it will even stop the river man. What? Artist conception of the river man. Different artist conception of the river man. Is the bear? Okay, is, it, is this a bear? The strange dark river should only be used for midnight ceremony, washing large jar, disposing of used eels, consulting the carp, dissolving matter, forgetting. Yeah, it's only about dissolving matter, forgetting, and consulting... The carp. I'm sorry, what? Please pray for my son. <laughs> Nothing is wrong with him. I, I just keep finding shit like this in his room. Thomas the train. Go brum brum. I mean, what other explanations do you have for the train actually having a face? Where does the poo go? Maybe they have those floaty helium bags. You, you know puffer fish, right? This is the bone of a puffer fish. That looks really freaky, but really intricate. And it's that kind of thing that you don't think about but it makes sense when you see it. Do you know that female boo bones look like this too? Yep, yep, female boobs have these kind of bones as well. Don't at me, I am great at female anatomy. Do you like penguins? Not anymore! Ah, I'm so glad I could cure you of your penguin obsession. Anyway, I'm so glad you showed up for this video. I really enjoyed this one, and I do hope you enjoyed this just as much as I enjoyed making it. Have an amazing rest of your day, because you do deserve it. And I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.